All right, next day we're gonna go check the trail cam. It's all frosty out here. Yeah, so we're gonna walk. I guess Soy's coming with. We'll see how far. <laughs> but. All right, I had to just go get the phone because it's too cold for the GoPro batteries. But yeah, the ground is just completely frozen. Yeah. Not frozen enough. Yeah. It's got Barley all excited. What is that bar? You gonna eat some ice? <laughs> anything gets him pumped. Um, you think there's gonna be anything? Clean that lens, jeez. Clean it. I don't have anything to clean it with. Is that better? Is that, well, there's three lenses. I don't know if I can do this. You always got the nastiest one. <laughs> you always judge me for that. Well, yeah. B-roll. It does look like turf. It's crazy. Makes it all so pretty. That's some hard dirt. <laughs> Bradley's just trying to dig. Looks weird. It's all white. <laughs> <laughs> See if the corn's eaten. Yeah, I didn't think it was cold. All of this is frozen, and then right inside the tree line, it's not. It's weird. It's crazy. This looks completely different than it did. Yeah. It's so pretty. Dang. Yeah. Oh, the corn looks untouched. Yeah. There should have been something walking through, but. Should we just give it another day? Yeah. Let's All check right. the other one. Still see the corn piles. Yeah. It's all good. Well, we'll give it another day. Not come over here, let our scent yeah. disappear. What did you lose? Hey. There was water flowing through here yesterday and now it's not. All frozen probably. Well, yeah. All yeah, right. The camera's all iced over from the lens anyway. Yeah. Well, I'm up here in front of the studio and uh, I was walking to go feed the animals. Jason's over there working on the barn, so you might hear that. Yeah. Uh, and there's all these, I don't know if it's like gophers, moles. Look at all this. Just everywhere. And it's only right here that I've noticed it. So, wonder what that is. All right. Got them all fed up. All the animals out there. Um, we're gonna take this time to kind of brush Lambo. I'm telling you, if you don't do this every day, my dude, he gets pretty mad at, don't you? I don't know what you're doing. Oh, did you drop a cattle cube? Here, right here. Lambo. Let's see. It's right here. There you go, buddy. Um, I will show you. So the water actually wasn't that frozen. I just dumped, there's just the top layer. I just dumped it out. Um, just give him fresh water every day, but not a lot. I thought maybe it might be a little bit more frozen through and then just a thin layer over there as well. And then over on the rain catchment, it's not bad. Um, I'm gonna finish brushing them out. And then looking in the barn, it looks like, you seeing if I have any cattle cues? Nobody coming to hang out? I need to rake out the barn. And uh, so I have to go all the way back to the camper, get the rake, but looks like that's what I'll be doing today. I feel good, buddy. All right, I got my dude all brushed out over here. He's looking good. Um, also, if you guys are interested in seeing his half siblings, uh, Juno Acres, J-U-N-O-D. They just put out a couple videos. Uh, 
of his half siblings just running around and, and they are the cutest. I 1000% recommend going to watch it. It made my day seeing those videos. One is called Freedom and I meant to look and see what the other one was called but there's one before that. They, those are the two I watched recently and oh they're just so cute. And then uh, there are a couple of videos where uh, they're like freshly born. But yeah so that's a uh, would be Lambo's half siblings. Well, that's it for the farm chores for today. Um, there's so much else to do. Let's see what else I get into. Well, Jason has been working hard, so he deserves to come home to a uh, clean house. Just clean up. So if you are living tiny, where right, there is no room for anything, check out this broom. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it before, but it's a little foldable, collapsible thing, and then the little dustpan that I have no idea where it is uh, comes with it. But that, do a little bit of that, and then maybe, yeah, there we go. This actually is like the second time I've slept today. Um, it just gets so dirty so fast. Probably because we wear our boots in here. Dogs come in here. But we try our best. So much better, right? <laughs> ah, I just swept the floors. There's just so much stuff everywhere and um, there's really no spots for it. So when we clean, this is about as good as it gets. It's just kind of the reality whenever you're living in this tiny, tiny camper. But anyway, um, can't really make it spotless in here. One thing I can do is start on dinner for Jason, so let's do that. All right, we got some pork chops that I am going to try in our little toaster oven thingy, air fryer. Never done this before. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out, um, but I've been wanting something new. So, I'm gonna do like a little mini boat so that the juices don't just fall um, drip down and make a big old mess. Probably only do like two at a time. I'm gonna spray it down with some butter so the seasoning can stick to it. Again, I have no idea how it's gonna turn out, but we're trying some Payne County rust, and don't you worry, I know you're thinking, but Danielle, there's not a lot of seasoning in there. Oh, we got them, we got more. Done for. Flip these bad boys. Load it up, kind of. Yeah, I'm hoping that these both even fit in there. That's what I'm working with right now. Let's throw her in. Make it work. There we go. So I'm gonna use the bake option. 350 and we'll do about 15 minutes to see where we're at. Now he's cleaning. I brought in mud. <laughs> she yelled at me. She said, I cleaned this whole house. This whole house I cleaned. Now I brought in mud on my boots. Update on the pork chops. We just dinged. So we're gonna flip it. Yeah, we gotta get the uh... shout out to Ma for these oven mitts. Yeah, definitely not done. They're just not crispy because they're in foil. The other side probably. That's cooking. That's cooking? Yeah, because it's turning white. All right, all right. Yeah. And then we'll probably just have to throw it on in there without the mm -hmm. foil for a little bit. We can even throw it on the pan. Oh, maybe. yeah. We'll share. 
Uh, fun fact, I wore this shirt all day while I worked. <laughs> Didn't even know it. I was about to roast you. Uh -oh. Oh, oh. Ma, this is what I don't like about these things. They got these little grooves and they grip everything. <laughs> He has a hard time with them. But yeah, I wore this shirt. I didn't even know. And then I like part of it came out of the sleeve. And I was like, what? Am I wearing my pajamas? Just working comfy. Didn't even know. It kept me warm. So what do you think? Another? Another that long. Ten minutes. Oh. That's how you do stuff when you're on her. All right. Side number one. Don't know. Don't know. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Where's the rest of the sound effects? All right, let's check this. I don't want to cut through that foil, but man, that's good. That's hot. We could, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, mean, I think they're good. I don't think we need to like throw them back in there. Christine. You know what I didn't do? Put the broccoli in the micro. You can't really do that with the oven going in oh, there. True. So yeah, I meant to do that. Yeah. You know, there's just a random pork chop over here. Yeah. Got some broccoli and cheese. Oh yeah. yeah. Here we go. I'm assaulted. And then this dinner is brought to you by Payne County. Payne County Roast. Is that the official? I think so. Yeah. All right. Oh. Try it out. With no sauce or nothing, just straight Payne County. That's not bad for for the oven. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna dig in. We so got a full plate here. What's crucial with eating? You have to have a good uh, show to watch. And what we're doing? We're prepping my baby to get on Survivor. Tell me he wouldn't win Survivor. I would. He would totally win. All right, so we're gonna eat up and we're gonna end this video. But first,